This is a 1999 Casablanca Lady Delta in snow white and polished brass. This is the famous, or infamous, depending on how you view it, fecal fan. And yeah, so that's, there's not much else to say about it. I'll explain why I put this in after I start demonstrating it. Here's the light kit. It is a K4B. And the reasoning for the K4B is due to the wall signage. I actually use it to shine on those. So that is kind of the point of those. So anyway, it came with K4S, so this is the Casablanca light pull chain. And here's low. <clears throat> so the reasoning for this although I might have mentioned this in the fans in my house update video is because this bathroom for whatever reason does not actually have an air conditioning vent of any kind and most of y'all that are viewing this video might not worry about things like that because you might live in an area that doesn't have the same kind of summers as we do or and you might just have a bathroom heater and no air conditioning but you see I live in Texas and uh, we don't really like not having air conditioning, so I'm really not sure what the builder was thinking in 1978 when he thought, oh, I'll put central air everywhere else but this specific bathroom, because I believe my dad's bathroom actually has an air vent in it. So, I don't know. The worst part about this is this wall behind the camera is an exterior wall, so... The heat faces, now it is a north facing wall so it's not as sun exposed as other walls of the house but it still gets really hot in here because of that and the fact that there's just no air conditioning vent. So after enduring that for the spring time when it got pretty warm and a little bit of the early summer, I finally decided that I was going to bite the bullet and install a fan in the bathroom which is what I did. It's medium. So I chose this because I wanted the maximum amount of airflow for the space. Initially I was going to use 36 inch Moroccan sand blades, which I know they weren't going to look that good. But I also was going to use a Snow White Lady Delta instead, but I couldn't find the Snow White Lady Delta that is 4 or 5 blade adaptable because my other one is 5 blade only and I didn't really want that because I want maximum airflow. And some of these people that are commenting on my most recent videos acting like five blades is the better option, don't understand the physics of how fans work, I guess, because it has been proven that ceiling fans and fans in general move more air with less blades. It's a fact. It's the way that drag and air physics just work. It's that simple. But apparently some people are still insistent and think that I'm actually going to change my fans to five blades because of their comment. So, yeah. So because I couldn't find my four or five blade Lady Delta, which come to find out it was actually in my garage this whole time. I thought it was in my storage unit. I was wrong. Um, I ended up putting this up because this was, the, this was what I saw in my storage unit and I grabbed it. And I'm not really worried about the brass because it's been in here for like a year, I guess. About a year and it's doing just fine. Now it does have a, a scratch on the side band, but I got it that way, so it doesn't really matter. And it's nice that it's facing the opposite direction of the uh, door. So this pretty much stays on medium or high speed almost all the time. In the winter time, I do actually reverse it and I use it on low or sometimes just low forward, but in the summertime, I pretty much don't turn it off medium or high. And lately it's been on high all the time because this bathroom has been getting ungodly hot in here for some reason. I guess it's because it's been hotter than normal-ish. Like a lot of times in our Texas summers we'll have, here's high by the way, we'll have uh, little weeks of maybe 100 degrees or 99 or whatever and then it cools down to about 90 to 85 for a week or two and then it goes back up. We have a kind of like steady ebb and flow but lately it's just been the same temperature every single day. So I've kind of been running most of my fans on higher speeds because of that. 
And also, this thing is only really effective at actually bringing air conditioning into the bathroom when the door is open, so when nobody's in here, it's the door is always open, which normally in my old house, I wouldn't really like having the bathroom door open all the time, but that's really the only way to keep this thing comfortable, and in the winter time, it gets really cold in here, and it gets below freezing enough in this state to warrant um, wanting to have like heat in here so that my pipes don't burst. So, and yes, of course, it uh, it does look a little off-centered in here, I'm aware. I had to choose between the lesser of two evils, centering it with the room, or centering it with the uncentered bathroom fan, and I figured it would look horrible if it wasn't in line with the bathroom fan, so it is a little bit shifted over to the right. It's about almost a foot from the wall on the right side and about 15 to 18 inches on the other side so I mean it's not horrible and it does actually perform pretty well despite being that close to the wall so I think it's because of where it's located it gets a lot of air from where the camera is and it still is able to circulate it well and yeah so it's pretty cool I thought initially, going back to the blades, because I guess I got on a tangent there, <laughs> um, I forgot to mention that I actually, when I put this up, I just dry fit the blades it came with, and I was like, oh, it actually does fit. I guess I don't really need to do 36 inch blades, so then I just left the blades that it came with on there. Didn't see a reason to swap them if it actually fits. Another option I could have done was my 38 inch Winco or a Four Seasons or something like that. But I figured this was easy because I already had one lying around that was easy to access. And I like, I've never been able to actually install a Lady Delta, so besides like testing, so it's cool to have one on display and in use. So, and I do like these with five blades, but I still like them more with four. I don't know, it's just it's just my thing, I guess. But I'm not the only one that thinks that, so I guess there's, that's nice. And it also, surprisingly, doesn't wobble. I don't remember if it did when I tested it in my bedroom at my old house with the original light and everything. But, yeah. And if y'all remember, this was installed for a few months, probably about three or four, in Alan's dining room in his apartment when he moved here from Florida in, 29, in late 2019. Once he moved here, his fan collection became way better immediately, and he started getting enough of his own fans that were cool that he just took everything that I put in down, or I did, and then both of us did, really, and then gave them all back to me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And there goes my little air freshener. Um, I know the videos are kind of long and most of y'all don't even watch to the end, so if you did, congratulations, I like you better than everybody else that subscribes to me. I've looked at the analytics, so I do know that uh, most of y'all just skip through it or don't watch the whole thing. Shame on y'all, I spend good time on this crap. But anyway, that's about it, I hope y'all enjoyed and thank you for watching.